Welcome to this brief guide on how to use split screen tabs in Microsoft Edge. If you regularly need to compare two websites side by side, you can understand how cumbersome that can be to set up on occasion, as well as difficult to sometimes get back to if you need to later on. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a feature in Microsoft Edge to make that a thing of the past. Here I am on The Verge's website, and I'd like to open up this Wolong Fallen Dynasty link. So I simply right click on it and I have options to open it in a new tab or open it in a new window. And to split screen these, I would normally open it in a new window and then use Snap Assist in Windows to split my screen 50-50 between the two tabs. Now, as you can see, I can scroll between all of them. However, what I have in the middle at the moment because I use the vertical tabs feature in Microsoft Edge is essentially some wasted space. This is probably better used by allowing my content to span this gap entirely. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'll close down this other tab and we're just going to expand this window back out like normal. And we're going to show you a brand new feature that's just been added to Microsoft Edge. So in order to make sure that you have this feature available, head to the ellipsis menu and then scroll right to the bottom and select the option for settings. This will bring you to your Microsoft Edge settings where we need to go to about Microsoft Edge this will automatically check for and install any updates and you wanna make sure that you're on version 114 or higher. You'll notice that I'm currently on version 111, but that's because I'm currently utilizing the dev build of Microsoft Edge where this feature was released a little bit earlier than normal. Now that we have that version set up, we wanna to head to our appearance settings. And firstly, we can see where we've got all our options to customize our colors and theme. But if we scroll down, we're going to find the option where we can customize our toolbar, which is about halfway down the page right here. Now inside the customize toolbar section, if we move our mouse down the page a little bit, we'll see that we have an option for our split screen button. And we can utilize the radio toggle to turn this feature on, which will allow us to easily access the split screen feature right up the top here in our toolbar. Now that we've got that option available to us, if we were to click on it, it will actually activate the split screen option where you'll see that now I have a secondary tab kind of inside my main one and I can see all the open tabs that I currently have in my browser session. If you have a lot and you're looking for a particular one, you can use the search feature to search amongst all of your open tabs to find the one that you need. Now we can use the X in the corner to close that down just so we can move back to the regular settings page. And I'll jump back to the Verges article, and now I'll show you how to use this split screen feature on your page itself. When I right click, I now select the option that says open link in split window. Selecting this is going to initiate that split screen feature and automatically add the Wolong Fallen Dynasty link right beside the Verges main homepage, all in a single window. Which means I don't have to mess around with split screening or anything like that. I can still interact with all of them just like I normally would. And the bar in the middle, can actually be used for me to move the split across depending on how much size I would like each tab to have. And it will remember where it was located as you click through links as well. So if I click on the tech link here, you'll notice that it allows me to quickly and seamlessly open up different links in each page whilst maintaining each tab's particular size. And up in the address bar, you'll also notice that you can see both of the URLs and you can also see the one that is darker in color is the one that is currently your active tab. It will also be highlighted with a purple border. Now selecting the X, I'll be able to close my window or I can use the other options to switch on how my links will work, whether I would like each link to open in the current tab that it is in or have links from the left tab open up automatically in the right tab. And then using the ellipsis menu, I have my last couple of options where if I'd like to, I can open up each individual screen in a new tab, or I can actually split my current tabs into two different tabs inside the current window that I'm in. And doing that, as you can see, has now given me two different tabs, one for the first page that I was on and one for the second page. And now to show how you can utilize this with all sorts of different tabs, if I right click on this particular link and I open it in a new tab, I now have my third tab, but then what I can easily do from this page alone, I can click on the split screen window button in my toolbar, select my other tab, and now I have my two tabs that were independent from each other originally, side by side. I can even pin these sets of tabs so that I can come back to them later on should I need to have them always available. And that is how you use the brand new split screen tabs feature in Microsoft Edge. 
Hope you found this tip extremely useful and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.